everybody um let's just pretend that i don't look like this i literally just woke up i just thought i'd do a little vlog today because i've got physio this morning i'm just looking outside and the weather is literally gross um and there's definitely denying um but i thought i'd take you along to my physio session and yeah just kind of vlog today see how it goes that's about it really hello hiya <laughs> hiya Okay, right, so we need to check in which movement your back hurts the most. So, if you lean backwards, does that cause the onset of pain? Yeah, I can feel it in my lower back. Whereabouts you're showing me? Like, about here. Is it more on one side than the other, or is it both sides? That was like central then. Okay. Like proper in the middle. Okay, so was it on the spine? Yeah, here for a bit. Do it on here so you can okay. see. Okay. So you're, we're both like this, aren't we? Yeah. So you want to like push that away, like that. Okay. So control that, and then push it away, um, and then find that neutral. So is my back more or less straight there? Yeah. 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 So it's not that. Yeah. It's not that. It's right in that middle where it's flat. Oh my thumb's just. Oh cracked. my god. Now resist again so push this up. Do you find that hard? Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. Can you yeah. not push it back all the way? Like give yourself an arch back. That way and then. And then opposite way. No. How oh, interesting. Do you love being in that position? It. Like if I did it without it, I could go there. Yeah. But when there's the resistance. Do it again. I'm just going to be more used to it. Interesting. <laughs> um, so basically we need to strengthen the glutes and like your, your obliques okay. in your trunk to try and reverse those effects. So what we will do, we'll go through um, the, the lower back okay. and the hips because the lower back will be um, tight like that so we'll yeah. release that and then we'll also release off the hips which are... Okay. So bring your heels close to your bum, feet shoulder width apart, yeah, and then push your hips all the way up to the ceiling, so push your weight through your heels, that's it, and really tuck that bum in, that's it, good. So balancing on this leg, make sure you've got your hip, your knee, and your toe aligned, and then coming all the way down, mm -hmm. like this, and all the way up, like and really squeezing that left glute, mm -hmm. just squeeze it like that. Your heels like that, go from there to st stick your bum out and then set your hips like that so you've mm -hmm. got that neutral spine and then force your way forward like that. So sitting back okay. and forcing forward. You can also go like leg out like that and just focus on like, one glute squeezing forward. Hey guys, so you'll have just seen some clips of me at physio. Um, so I just thought I would explain quickly why I go. Um, so I initially went to physio because about three years ago I tore my hamstring 
Um, so I had to go to physio for like regular checkups and sports massages because when you tear a muscle, um, it heals in like a knot rather than like the fibers being flat. This is my <laughs> demonstration. Um, so instead of like the fibers slotting in together, they're healing like a knot. Um, so I had to go to physio quite a lot to get sports massages and strengthening exercises. Um, so yeah, that's initially why I went. Um, and then I just realized that I thought it was a good idea to go anyway, even if you're not injured, because when you are constantly exercising, your muscles get fatigued or they might overstretch. Or, you know, if you just have like an ache and a pain, you never know what that could lead into. So at the minute I've got a really sore back. Um, I just thought it was like an ache, but it turns out that it's actually quite weak um, and it comes down to my core as well. Um, so you'll have seen some of the clips today from where Kelly kind of sorted out my back and did some exercises with me. So I thought that would be good for you guys to see. Um, but yeah, I just can't stress enough the importance of going to physio. Um, it's definitely worth the money. You can find some that are really not too expensive. I go to Kelly who's back home. Um, so whenever I come home for half term or the end of term, I always make sure I see her. I try and see her multiple times, um, normally three sessions when I'm home, um, just so that I can get give my body the chance to relax and give all the muscles a stretch and a relax and a massage because, yeah, you don't realise how sore you are until you go and then you come out of the session and you're like, oh my gosh, you're like, I feel like a human again. You don't realise how tight you are. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would give you that advice and yeah, I definitely think it's worth going to see someone um, and then even if you don't think you're injured or overstretched something, they might point out things that you didn't realise. Hey everybody, um, so I thought I would just quickly film an outro because I realised that I forgot, it's obviously night time now, um, but I was just editing the video and realised that I hadn't done one. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today, um, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was useful for some people, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!